Hey, how's it going everybody? Thanks for tuning in and watching today's video. It's been a really long time since I've posted anything here on YouTube. I apologize for that, but we're back at it now. So, my buddy Craig and I, COP Bushcraft, uh, are out here on a trip on the Natchez River here in East Texas. So, we're doing a weekend trip, Friday to Sunday, spending two nights out here, and kayak camping. I've never been to this area before, so it's been really fun uh, just seeing and exploring. And something that I've done in the past when I've done kayak camping videos is go over everything that's in my boat. And a lot of you like seeing that and a lot of you enjoy seeing uh, maybe what's changed throughout the years. And I can tell you from 2019, the last time I did a kayak camping video till now, uh, I definitely have some different pieces of gear, some people that I want to highlight and uh, shout out maybe if you all want to see it. And uh, also just maybe some different things that I'm running now on my boat that I wasn't back then when I did the Buffalo River. So we're gonna jump right into this and uh, I'll get you in closer so you can see everything. And we'll start from the front to the back and go over everything that I brought. Uh, this is a really easy going trip. There's no crazy rapids or anything. Uh, the Natchez River was just really easy flowing and we're getting close to pulling into the Lake Palestine area and then uh, wrapping around it, the top part of it and going up into Kickapoo Creek. So. I'm going to be doing a separate video on the trip itself and then I'll also do a separate video on uh, my, my bag that I have here on the back and just everything that's inside of there because I want to go over it uh, as an in-depth review because it's been doing really well for me and I want people to see the progress that I've had with it. Alright so uh, I already have a few things out that I had packed up so I'll just go over that real quick. Um, I've got this REI co-op uh, camp chair. I don't remember the style or the name of it but it's got a really high back and it's a it's a little bit bigger of a chair it's probably about arm's length long and i'd say i don't know maybe grapefruit around uh, but it's super comfy it sits up higher than a lot of the other packable chairs and so far i've liked it this is like my second or third time using it but that sits right up here at the front of the cockpit uh on the right side so I already had it out. I don't want to pack it back up. And then the other couple of things that I already had out is uh, this dry bag by AquaQuest. It's a small one. And in here is like my camera recording batteries and stuff uh, as, long, as well as my camera bag. So I've got uh, an anchor battery pack in there. Um, I've got this small portable fan. I'll show it to you real quick because it's awesome. Uh, it's just the body of the fan like this. And it comes with two batteries, and I'll try to link this on my Amazon, on the Amazon link below. Uh, but the batteries just plug into the base of it, like this, and you can charge your phone on the battery if you don't want to use it for the fan. And it tells you the indicator here, and then this will run on medium or high for a whole weekend before you have to uh, recharge it. And I like it because it folds here. In the middle so I hang this upside down from the gear loft in my tent and then this blows down onto me so that's in there uh, I brought a speaker for this trip because we're just relaxing and then I've got my headlamp and my battery pack in here so that's just kind of electronic stuff that we need or that I need and my camera bag and that sits in the middle console because I can get in into it and get in and out I have a Shamog and my life vest, I'll go over what's in my life vest here in a second. And then I have the paddle that's clipped to the outside. And then the other thing that's already pulled out is my fishing rod. So my fishing rod actually goes inside. I don't have the external flaps that hold your rod tips down. Uh, Craig has that on his. So I shove my fishing rod all the way down the side of my boat and it sits here in my dry storage. Whenever I get to camp, I'll pull it out and use it. So those are the things that are already out and I didn't feel like packing them back up. So the front of my boat, it's packed really similar to what it would be if I was uh, going on the Buffalo River. I wanna have enough weight in the front of my boat that it balances out the weight that I have in the back. And I wanna pack it in a way that it's not gonna run all down the boat or move around a lot. If something were to happen, if I were to flip or whatever, uh, everything's kinda in here secure. So. Don't forget that I have that chair up against this corner. And then because I just got to it, I've got a bag of trash that I just put in there. And actually here's the bag of trash. 
and this is just a charging cable and an extra cup and a pop tart so that's going to be trash so first things that i want to get to when i get to camp is my shelter system so that's right here at the very front again everything's in a dry bag uh even though this is a quote unquote waterproof hatch i still want everything in a dry bag and in here we have shelter implements so i have a pad cover a sleeping pad cover i have a towel this is one of those quick uh those tech towels that you can wipe your stuff off with so any kind of condensation and stuff before i pack my tent up i want to wipe it down so that i'm not having to pull everything out and let it dry out before i set up the next time at camp i've got a jungle blanket from snug pack this is lightweight enough but it's going to be warm enough that i'm not going to get cold it's like in the 90s right now so i doubt i'm going to need this and then i have a ground kind of a ground cloth thing this is a piece of gear i've had for a long time it's from jb outdoor supplies uh, they don't make anything anymore but i put this outside of my tent so that i can get dirt and before i pull my feet inside my tent i can actually clean my feet off with a wet wet wipe or whatever um so that's that and then i have my sleeping pad i'm lazy when it comes to putting my pad up so instead of trying to get it to fit back into the uh original bag that it came with which is the sea to summit i've got it in this much bigger big agnes bag so this is the sea to summit etherite xt i've been running this pad now for i think two years almost there's pros and cons to it it's insulated enough that you won't freeze but if it's winter time here in texas which for us is like 30s 20s uh i definitely have to have a like a folding z pad underneath it to bump me up the insulation they make the other one that is the extreme weather like the cold weather that craig has and it's for sure rated for cold temps but for me in my area i just don't find the extra bulk and weight of needing that so i just run the etherite xt and then bring that folding z pad with me if i need it and then that also has the pump sack in there and then the last thing that i have in here that i'm going to do a separate review on because i've used it enough now that i feel comfortable and and given a review is this is the nemo bike pack two two person tent and this is everything so that's the size of my hand this is your the body of your tent the net the mesh tent net the rain fly the poles the ground stakes or the ground or the stakes and the ground fly that you put on the ground or the ground pad everything's in this it's by far my favorite investment that I've made uh, in the last couple of years. It's a pretty penny. It's expensive. Uh, I used the government check rebate check for it. No shame in that. And holy cow, it's been one of my favorite purchases. It's perfect for something like this. This is everything that you need for a tent, all in one package. So if that's everything in this bag. And then the last thing that's up here and this is pretty extreme but again it's an easy going trip is my clothing bag i've got a full size pillow from at home in here i've been having some problems with uh indigestion gi stuff so i brought a full size pillow i can fold in half to uh, help prop myself up because i've been having to sleep propped up while i'm waiting on some anyways personal medical stuff going on and then i also have a pair of boots in here because we're planning on uh packing up and exploring and stuff and i'm going to put pants and boots on thorns ticks whatever so all that in here it's a pretty big dry bag but most of it's just that big pillow and again that's something that sucks right now i'm going through but that's everything in the front hatch so next up is the middle console area this is something that i want quick access to these are things that i want to be pulling out so like i said my camera gear my filming gear is going to be in this uh, my little phone holder that I have is going to go in this and I have my tackle box in here. I just throw an assortment of lures and baits um, and it's good to go. I've got my Crocs, camp shoes to throw in. Uh, I just always try to keep these in here. It's super nice being able to come back and put, you know, clean your feet and dry your feet off. And then, like I said, I have that Z-pad in here 
that just happened to shift down. It was further up in the front. But I'll put that underneath me, give me a little bit extra cushion under my pad. That pad's four inches thick, but I'm bougie, so I want super thick, squishy, especially camping like this. If I was running the Buffalo River and we're looking at like 20, 30 miles a day kind of stuff, I'd shave a lot of pounds out of this boat so that I'm not having to paddle it. But this is just an easy going. And then before we knew that we were gonna be under a fire ban, uh, Craig and I had planned both on bringing our new firebox freestyle. freestyle. Yeah, firebox freestyle stoves. Uh, I got the two pack and we were gonna make, put them all together and make a big fire pit. And of course we're under a fire ban. So it is what it is. I already had it with me. This is super, super heavy. I would definitely not be bringing this with me if I was concerned about weight. Um, that's really everything that I have in here. My camera gear, like I said, sits on top and uh, really everything kind of sits either in the front or in the back. So let's go to the back next. All right, back of the boat. This is really kind of the meat and potatoes of what I think a lot of you like to see besides bedding and all that that's in the front. Uh, that sleep system really doesn't change for me much anymore. So behind my seat, I have a, a little pouch here, a Velcro pouch. And I normally keep my scupper plugs in there, which all scupper plugs are, are there's these plugs that you fit into the holes here of a sit on top kayak. So I keep those in there. I keep the flag that I have on the back. This is just a signal panel from the Hidden Woodsman. And then the other thing I keep in there that's pretty much deteriorated now is I usually keep a sponge in the back of my seat. So my buddy Travis Henry got me onto this. Um, this has been here since I've had the boat. It's super handy to have because when you get out of the boat, you can, uh, instead of having to pull all your scupper plugs out, you can just put your sponge in there and soak it up. And then uh, also this will help kind of clean it before you know you load it up. And that way when you get back, you're not having to spray it off. Um, super dirty so that's what I keep in there and then behind my seat I have a hip pack from remote designs and this is all of my first aid stuff so I can literally reach behind me and grab this this has uh, stop the bleed stuff tourniquet and then bumps cut bruises and then like my own little personal uh, first aid kit in here that I've posted on my Instagram but it's basically got a, a SWAT T tourniquet in there and uh, stuff for my own like my own medication stuff that I might need. And then it flows into this next pack. So I'm not gonna open everything up and show everything in this pack, but I will kind of go over a big reason of why I'm such a fan of it. I'm gonna do a separate review on this while we're out here because I think it deserves it by now. So this is the remote designs, the same people that make this hip pack. Um, this is the remote designs backpack. And I believe it's 27 liter, but I've been running this now for a little over a month, but I had three weeks of it of hard use. I was teaching a kids camp, wilderness skills kids camp, and we would literally paddle in a kayak uh, every week. We'd paddle out to a little island area, learn skills, and then paddle back. And this was all that I used. So I've beat it, I've literally, <laughs> Not intentionally, but I've literally just not been careful with it. And submerged it, I set on it with stuff in there, and it's bomb proof. So it makes me really proud that this is a fellow kayak camper. Uh, his name's Gatewood Brown. Shout out to him, his YouTube channel is freaking amazing. Him and I have been friends uh, on YouTube for a good while. He reached out to me after I started doing the Buffalo River. And since then, man, his, his content, his qualities, off the charts and he's been all over Texas. He's a fellow Texan and this is his company, Remote Design. So I'm gonna go over the insides of this, but outsides, it's got all kinds of lash points, which I really like. Uh, I'm able to put my own tourniquet out here um, and any kind of strapping, webbing. If I were gonna be running uh, the Buffalo River with any kind of, or any kind of fast moving water, I would have one of these carabiners loaded with, uh, my tubular webbing, which is what you want to use around water, blood knot tied into it. That's rescue stuff that you want to be throwing lines out to somebody if you're worried about the water moving or whatever. But we're going to go over what's inside here. But this sits at the back of me. 
and then my food bucket. Been using this for years and years and years now. This is uh, an awesome investment. So gamma seal lid that fits on the top and inside here uh, I have a skillet, a lightweight titanium skillet. I have my titanium cup, a, a butane stove fuel canister and dehydrated mills. So we're just going dehydrated packet gourmet style and that's pretty much it. That's the whole back end of the boat. There's gonna be, like I said, another video with all that in there. Um, that's the fun stuff, gear stuff, whatever, but it balances the boat out really, really well by having stuff in the back and in the front and then you in the middle, especially in moving water. Uh, this thing's just like a Cadillac, man. It just kind of cruises through the, through the water pretty easy. Hope you enjoyed the video. That's what I've brought with me on this trip. We are gonna get camp set up and get all this stuff unpacked and get ready for the first night pack up and head to the next spot for tomorrow night's sleep so thank you all for watching stay tuned uh gonna be having a pack video on this and showing you what's in here and then i also want to show you uh the tent that i've been super super happy with so remember get outside and enjoy the woods lost my shoe Money, money. Oh.